Well, folks, we weren't clowning around today with our special circus spectacular. Simon, do me a favor, take that freaking thing uh, off of your head. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Destroy that. Am I allowed to take the nose off, though? No. Okay, sad clown. All right, take that off. <laughs> Round one, corn dog. Our first item up, bring forth the concessionaries. Oh. So here we have everything you would actually need to fabricate a corn dog. I'm 100% certain it was Chef Kaz who got this. Indeed it was. He ground up both the pretzel and the popcorn to make his breading. I think he should have run it through a food processor. He didn't. It wasn't actually an unpleasant bite. It just really wasn't a corn dog. If he had sold it to me as a bite-sized corn dog, I might have got away with it. A corn pop. A corn pop. I would have put a freaking stick in that thing no matter what. Yep. Because if it doesn't have a stick in it, it's not a corn dog. Yeah. Okay, check out this next one. Our tight rope prep station. Oh. So if you got stuck with this, all prep must be done on the top wire. All mixing must be done in this bowl. I love it. So uh, you got it. I'm going to say Chef L'Oreal because hers was a complete mess. True. And you're right. Ugh. I've never been a very balanced person. I need a bourbon. <laughs> Ah! It's one of the toughest sabotages I think we've had, just as far as trying to operate with it. But then, the mid-round. Whoever won this <laughs> could force all three of their <laughs> opponents to ride in this clown oh. car for the remainder of the challenge. <laughs> Look at it, it's spectacular. So, who won it? Matt. Chef L'Oreal won it. Oh. There was no way she was gonna deal with the tight rope prep station and the clown car. <laughs> <laughs> You okay back there, Kyle? Sir. Remember that time I had to do this and then you had to do that? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I got a fry. I have to play, I have to play. So, um, in the end, you sent Chef Kaz home. Yeah. It needed to be really, really delicious to get over all the problems he had. And it most definitely yeah. was not. So, round two, a peanut dish. Our first sabotage. This is our trapeze oh. prep station. Wow. All right, so mount up. <laughs> oh. Two people got stuck on this. All of their prep had to be done on this. So not only do they have to be able to work on an angle, one-handed, they have to be able to share. Oh, do you play nice? Uh, well, here's the deal. If you don't play nice, nothing gets done. That's because very true. If you let go and you go off to cook ah. and you give it back to me, you come back and ask for it, I'm like, no. This is a seven on the evolution scale. Because I think you can do it, but it's not gonna be easy. Chef Chris won it. Oh. And gave it to Chef Matt Ooh. and Chef L'Oreal. You ready? Okay. Pass. All right. Come on, honey, child, let's. Get, let me just cut this. The clock is ticking. Sure. Clock Take it. Thank you. What a day. But uh, some revenge was forthcoming. Now, you've probably seen animal acts in old school circuses when they still used to make animals jump through hoops. Of course, that's kind of mean to animals, but it's perfectly fine to do to chefs. Oh. Uh, if you won this, you can give it to one of your opponents and they would have to do all their cooking on the ring of fire. Completely awesome. Who got it? I'm guessing Chris, because his stuff was a little bit blackened. Yes. Uh, he still managed to cook his shrimp perfectly, but the cod was overcooked, so he didn't get his balance right. But his problem was that he tried to cook his kebab on a cold pan and then held the pan in yeah, there. Yeah, so you was... need to heat up the pan. Yeah, because Hold there was there. no way to get any sear. And so in the end, you sent him home. Well, he actually made me a really delicious dish. It was the fact that the two others really made peanuts the front and center of their dish. Whereas on Chef Chris, it just looked like he'd sprinkle peanuts over his kebab at the end. Quite frankly, if I was doing a kebab like that, I'd have done a satay sauce. Done. Because the nuts are integral. They Absolutely, rather than just a garnish. So we move into round three, funnel cake. This is a safety net <laughs> for, uh, you know, catching things. Come on in, the water's warm. So whoever got stuck with this had to do all of their prep and plating in this net. Chef Matt got it, and he didn't like it very much either. <laughs> Make it rain! This reminds me of when I was a youngster. Aw, dance, little baby, dance, dance! Is that what you want to see? You want to see me dance like a monkey? This is going to be disastrous. So in the end, you sent Chef Matt home. Actually, they both made really, really good funnel cakes. But I think Chef Matt, A, he overcooked his slightly, and he put far too much cinnamon on it. And that was worse than putting too much bourbon in the syrup. Got it. So in the end, Chef L'Oreal walks out the winner. So uh, Simon and I are now going to uh, head off to Las Vegas, where people pay good money to see men like us dressed up in circus outfits. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, please uh, continue to watch uh, Cutthroat Kitchen here on Food Network. And then after that, come to foodnetwork.com slash cutthroat and uh, watch the judge of the day be illuminated in the ways of eviliciousness. And I'll be appearing in some Charles Nightmare very soon.